Why does it smell like donuts in my car? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just came out to my car, opened up the door, and it smells like some Krispy Kreme in here. I don't even remember the last time I ate a donut. But anyways, I feel like every time I start a new video, I'm in my car now, and that's because I don't, for some reason, it's always so windy here. I have some updates on the WRX. I have some news to give you guys, and I'm excited to talk about it a little bit. Uh, the main thing I'm going to be doing today, though, is installing a new exhaust system. So when we got the 2022 WRX here and started working on it, uh, the, one of the first things we did was try out the axle back exhaust, and then we tried uh, pairing up the mid pipe and everything to try and get it to work. However, it does not work. The exhausts are completely different. We had to modify one to make it fit. The exhaust is just sitting there taunting me every day. I got to walk by it. I got to see it. I'm like, man, I really want that. And so finally I just caved in and I got it. What I'm trying to achieve here is the factory exhaust is really raspy. So anyone with like a catted down pipe and the stock mid pipe and muffler deletes, like I'm talking no muffler at all. You guys probably all know what I mean when I say there's a really raspy point in the exhaust note. Somewhere between like 2800 RPMs and like 4200 RPMs. Like you hit it at a certain spot and like it's just like and it like hits this really raspy note and I don't like it at all. The rest of the RPM band sounds okay but that one spot just... So what I'm getting is a full 3 inch mid pipe from Remark and the Remark Bozo axle back exhaust. Now it really sucks because Remark is a relatively newer company. When they first started making axle backs for the WRX, they were really cheap. I think I bought a, an axle back from them, like a three and a half inch tip quad uh, axle back for like 200 bucks maybe. The price has gone up and up and up and up and up. So this was relatively expensive. I think it's worth it. I, I have to hear my exhaust every day. So if I can upgrade it to something that I'm going to enjoy, I might as well do it. So what I'm hoping is that I got the Bozo exhaust, which, believe it or not, a lot of people see that and they think it sticks way out of the back bumper, and it does not. Uh, I know a couple of people that bought it and ran it, and we did a side-by-side -side comparison of the, uh, the exact same exhaust, just a standard axle back and then the Bozo axle back, and the Bozo exhaust had a deeper tone to it. Uh, so I'm going to do all the install today. I'm going to talk about a couple more things I'm really excited about coming up here in the near future. And then uh, hopefully I'll probably make a whole separate video just on the sound clips of the exhaust. We'll get a couple sound clips in this video, but I'll do a full sound clip video in the future for you guys as well. So I'm going to pull the car in now and get this thing installed on my lunch break. All right, guys. So here's the full exhaust laid out on the ground. You can see this is basically the full thing from the cat back. So here's the three inch mid pipe, non-resonated, going for that loud racer boy sound and the new axle backs. So the stock mid pipe, as you guys know, is very restrictive right in here. It squeezes down and comes out to a really small diameter piping into the axle back. This one's actually off the 22 WRX, but you can see it's exactly the same. I mean, look how thin that gets at that point. It just pinches together, and I'm sure the raspiness is coming from this right here. It comes into this connector, and you got these really, really small. That's probably not even a two-inch pipe. That's probably like one and a half inches max uh, diameter. So I'm really going to be, I think, going to have a much deeper tone, and I think it's going to sound a lot better. Damn, this exhaust actually fits really nice and even, and of course, I screwed it up. So I think I explained it in another video, but all these burn marks from my bumper being cut up, it just was all wavy, and there was like, you could see different exhaust 
like shapes in the bumper from being burned. <laughs> so I cut them out and it actually worked well with my Subi Depot exhaust because they sat right about here. But now you see this gap. So I think I'm gonna end up getting those covers. There's little 3M and like self tap screw covers that just come up and cover this section. So I'm sure it's probably gonna sound exactly the same on cold start, but. <laughs> It already actually sounds a little bit deeper to be honest with you. I really hope this was worth it and it fixed it because this setup wasn't cheap. It was definitely a lot more expensive than my muffler elites. And unfortunately I still have about three, uh, I got about four hours of work left to go so I guess I'll get to hear it after work. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm finished up with work four hours later. <laughs> Uh, during the, well, I don't really have a stratified start anymore, so the cold starts don't sound any different than the warm starts. It sounds pretty much the same when you start it. If anything, it's just a tad bit, it almost is a tad bit quieter because when you would first start it, you'd hear like a little rasp at first, and I don't hear that now, which is good, it's smooth. Uh, I'd rather be it a little bit quieter and smooth and super loud and raspy, but this should be just as loud because it's, I didn't change anything as far as, I didn't add any resonators or any cats or anything. It's just the same freaking exhaust with a larger diameter. Oh, yes, the raspiness is gone. That little bit of rasp right there Especially when I first start the car and I first pull out onto a main road and I accelerate I wish I had a sound clip of it when it would do that because it was really really bad and this fixed it already And that wasn't like I, I can't wait to hear this thing under full throttle uh, Like I said, I'll do a full video on this exhaust uh, And get you guys some sound clips see how the backfire sound Ooh. That's a lot smoother. Dude, whoever recommended the mid pipe to me, I had like two or three people that kept being like, hey, get a mid pipe, get a mid pipe. Thank you. So I think what's happening is the three inch mid pipe is getting rid of that extra like raspiness that I was getting. And those bozo tips are helping with that deeper tone. I had a smile on my face the whole drive home. That is so much better. I don't know, it just sounds more aggressive and it sounds mean. It sounds really good. I'm really happy with it. I am super happy that I got that now. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys. You guys might remember this. I took off my STI spoiler and some of you guys might remember this carbon fiber duckbill I made. If you don't remember it, I'll link the video below in case you're interested. But uh, this was originally the trunk that came on my car and I installed the carbon fiber duckbill spoiler and it did not fit very well so I molded it to the trunk, sanded it all down, wet sanded, painted it, wet sanded it, buffed it, all that fun stuff. And I got bored with the STI wing and decided to put this back on for now and uh, switch it up for a little bit. Here you can see the exhaust. It does stick out a little bit further than most muffler deletes do, but it's not that bad and I actually kind of like the way it sticks out. So what's this big news that I have? Well, I want to explain this to you guys really quick. I have two new partners on my channel and I'm super excited for it. I've been busting my ass for a long time and to have two companies have a lot of faith in me, I'm really excited to bring them onto the channel and have you guys uh, see what they're about. And the two companies that I'm talking about are Painted OEM Parts and Flow Designs Australia. Basically, Flow Designs Australia is going to be sending me a full splitter kit. The front bumper, the side skirt extensions, the rear diffuser, and the rear spats, and then some extensions for the side skirts and the bumper and the rear spats, like little winglets. Uh, as well as extenders for the front splitter. It's like a full kit uh, and I'm really excited because I, I'll explain more when the video happens but I've been looking for a splitter kit for this car for a long time and I haven't liked any of them. Just all the ones on the market don't pique my interest. I don't like the way they look or the way they sit on the car and when I saw theirs I was like oh, okay I want that and I reached out to them and they're gonna partner up with me. They put some faith into me and we're gonna do a couple videos on that. And I'm really excited to show you guys that because I am absolutely excited for this kit. Uh, I've really wanted this kit for a while now 
and uh, I'm, I'm super excited to get it. And finally, the painted OEM parts, they're really hooking me up here with a front bumper for the car. So uh, if you guys know, I cut up my front bumper for the Grimspeed front mount intercooler and I kind of regret doing that. I don't like the way that it looks now that it's cut. I'm gonna have to find a different way to get a little bit more airflow to the intercooler and this just wasn't it. I just don't like the way that it looks and if you guys knew, uh, I told you before how I damaged the front bumper hitting a curb and I'll show you guys that here in a little bit but that was basically the, the same thing with the uh, when I cracked my carbon lip, I did that. So, so if you guys haven't noticed it already, here's what it did. It put a hole there, cracked it up just a little bit, and then some scrapes the whole way along the bottom. And the reason you're not really seeing them is because of all the touch-up paint that I put on it. I literally just coated that entire section with touch-up paint, so from a distance you really only notice this little hole. Uh, but it is bugging me so bad. So I sent out my tow hook cover. They're going to match my paint and uh, get me a new bumper, and I'm really excited to partner with them. We're going to get you guys some discounts on some of their stuff if you are in need of any of it. But I'm really excited to work with them as well. So lots of big things happening. I'm really excited. Uh, I'll have that exhaust video out for you guys as soon as I can. And then I'll have a video of the bumper out as soon as I can and the splitter kit as soon as I get it. So stay tuned, guys. Lots of cool stuff coming.